Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we're um, redoing, I should say, updating the blade skins for Aurora. Uh, I've been trying to get a few function working so far, and you know, it has been going okay. I've run into um, a few issues, but uh, I'm slowly I'm resolving them to make sure that there's no bug or anything of that sort. So as I continue to to work on this, I'll explain some of the things that I'll be doing. Um, so as for the skin itself, it's come along good. Um, one of the things that I will be adding is, you know, to make sure that as long as your console is modded, whether it's you know, about update, about avatar, whatever method that's out there that you're able to use um, the skin. So, as um, I've come across a lot of videos and stuff like that, and in my opinion, some of them I don't really um, like. And um, before anyone chastises me, let me um, get down to them what I mean. So. Because I'm working on the blade skin, so most likely I'm going to get feeds or videos within my feed that are recommended regarding a blade skin. And I've seen a few that in order to get the blade skin itself, you have to basically end up, um, you know, flashing your nan or, you know, Messing with the kernel and everything like that. Um, I've seen a a bad update um, video where to get the the blade dash, you know, you have to load your nan into J Runner and then you have to go through and do a bunch of modification. And you have to be careful when you're doing that and then refresh it back to your console and stuff like that. Um, yeah, stuff like that. I I'm not for because if you don't have the method to to um fix your console if you made a mistake, you know that's gonna leave you with a broken console, right? And unlike regular people, you know that don't um RGH their system or don't have the equipment to fix it. You know, a normal user is gonna be left there with um. A broken console. So, I think of that. Like, I don't really recommend, you know, videos like that. I know there are. There are enough people make videos like that for views or anything like that. I have no idea, but you know, I don't think it's it's right the way they bring it across. Like everyone can do it, and even though they're saying that, you know, they're not gonna be responsible, you know, if your console or anything like that and you know no one's going to really listen to that you know it's like you ban a software and you don't really read the license agreement that's over 200 pages no one's going to read that sure we know it exists but even i myself i don't read that i basically trust in the source that i'm getting um the software from so that when i install it it should work and and that's the thing, like, when you're recommending something to your viewers, you want to make sure that, you know, you're not allowing someone that is non-technical to break, break their console or thing like that. And that thing, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way to with people um, bring across stuff like that. Um, whatever time I'm doing something, whether I'm doing the Bombu game series or anything like that, I have an Xbox separate from my main gaming console that I label as my testing console. And I do test prior to any video I'm doing or anything that I'm recommending to anyone. I always go and do tests and everything to make sure that whatever I am recommending to my viewers is not going to be harmful to them. You know that 
once you put on your console they can be guaranteed that hey you know this won't break my console and thing like that and i think that's the way to do something you know if if it's a personal project on github that someone actually do want to release um i don't think some random person should take it upon themselves and make a video about it and just post it for everyone to see it's just that's just my opinion because that's just asking for disaster and it makes things bad for other people also uh, it's just that just like if you go go to walmart a walmart branch you get a bad experience you know that customer is gonna think that you know all walmart are the same you know because of the one bad experience and there's so many videos out there that it just make things you know difficult for a person who's actually doing good work and one of the things that rose me the wrong way also which it happens to a lot of people i've seen uh, people remixing my video as their own and you know trying not to install the blade skin on um, the previous version that i had before and the funny thing about it is that um when questions are asked in the comment i've seen some of the comments like the person who posts the video have no idea how to answer those questions because yet again they're not the one who actually made the skin so when questions are you know are, are asked i like, have no idea how to answer them yeah but yeah that, that's just my opinion you know certain videos you know shouldn't be um out there if they're even out there and someone's going to post it you know i just recommend that you know they make it as transparent as possible all right so as for display skin that i'm doing um, you can basically use it so if you're using bad updates um you just have to rename it to default if you use it in aurora so that it starts up at the default skin so you'd have to worry about changing the skin over and stuff like that because um that will get it to work otherwise if you're odd modded you know all you have to do is just you know set the skin as you do any other Aurora skin and you should be fine. Shall preview. Let's stay up there. Alright, perfect. Yeah. Well what I'm gonna do at the end of this video, um I'm going to um leave a quite a slight preview for what to expect from the skin so i will um leave a uh, a sample demo so that you can um try an aurora you can just download it and you know load it down and see what it will look like and feel of it um, there won't be much functionality but I will give you the option under themes and skins to change back to a previous skin that you had before. But just to um, give you a feel of how it will, you know, look when it's finished, you know, that I'm going to do. Alex, get to see me why. In config, make sure in config UI. 
with that, that little focus less, just making sure. No column red slider. Make sure everything the way it should be. Yeah. So as to when um this skin is gonna be finished, I'm trying to aim for New Year's. Um, if I do run into issue before then. Um, I will delay the release of the skins. I don't want to release it with bugs in it because I'll end, it'll end up being like a full circle because um, my first release had a lot of bugs in it. So I don't want this one to um, have the same in the turn, anything like that. Alright, next. Give this a try. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try it out on the console. Because being that it's just a preview, there won't be any massive function you can go and change anything. You can scroll to the UI, look at the menus and everything. Um this other feel. All right, so I'm going to transfer this to the console, and I'll see you over there. All right, so I'm now on the console. So um, when the theme is actually finished, or the skin, and you, you know, you transfer it to your console, so basically you'll end up putting it HDD1, apps, Aurora, skins, and you put um, the blade update. I'll give it a different name, but it'll be... That's where you'll put it. And basically, you're gonna do that and probably the the different layouts that will come with it. And and that will basically be how you install the skins. Um I guess for a bad update you can rename the skin as default so that um, once it launches it launched it into the blade skin but yeah that's all you would basically would install it um you don't need any plugin to run it so you don't need i think with the um, with the first sample that was out you needed some other sort of plugin to make sure it worked um with this it don't it just be like a normal skin you don't have to do anything about flashing any nano or anything like that it is loaded on and you go to the regular um, B button, you got a skin, and you'll just select the blade skin and do your restart. And, and basically, that's all you'll do. It will be um, just like a regular skin, you know, no flash enough or anything like that. And this is how to look on on your console. Like I will, you know, leave a a link for a sample. Uh, like there's no function or anything. Like you can explore and see where the functions will be. Um, but there is no function to anything at all. Like you just blank template. Yeah, so, but um, the one section that I actually work on, which was um, the skin, I give it a nice little overall. So whatever skin you select, it comes in that um, flat screen TV over there. You have all your thing. So yeah, you can try this skin out if when you're finished, you want to switch back to another skin. You just go to change skin and it only showed um the developer of the skin itself. Well, that part I haven't worked on yet. If you select that skin, whatever skin you select, it will show up on um, the screen right there. 
yeah, without skidding the shoulder shop right there, and press X. I wonder the reason why this menu I use X for it. Some of the default Aurora um, skin set and use B for something. Like the B doesn't actually goes back. I think that's when the bug that I encounter in in the previous skin. I realized that um the default X that was already set with the default skin that actually allows you to go back so you don't get stuck in an, in another um, menu or something like that. Yeah, so all these I will end up um working on slowly. But for this week I did um start on the skin section and it looks good so far from what I'm seeing. Um, I'm still working on the display section right here, which I have to end up fixing that. Yeah, but that's what I was working at. Um, um, it'll probably fix with the sample that I uploaded, but yeah. So you normally go there, change skin. Go back to that one that you're in, and then you just press the Xbox button and return home. And yeah, you'll be in your regular Aurora skin that you selected. So yeah, like it'll be as easy as that. But once the skin is done, you don't have to worry about anything really. And that's what I want for users. So I'm not only totally like doing this for views because I know a lot of people want it you know but I'm doing it properly so that you know whether you're a technical person or not you want to experience a beta skin you just go and you know select it and it's all done you don't have to worry about you know pressing this button what's gonna happen next when my system boot up is it gonna boot or not um, I want to eliminate that worry so I'm doing this properly compared to a lot of videos that I've seen where people are trying out different ways to get the blade skin. Um, they make it seem as if it's a gamble. Um, when I finish with this, it's not. It will basically be you just choosing the skin and experiencing nost nostalgic from a nostalgia from back then. So yeah. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching. You know, like and subscribe for more videos, and thanks for all your supports and comments that I've been seeing. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one.